we wanted to talk about what it looks like to try to get compliant with, with this estate. I have a website I wanted to share. We'll include this in the notes and maybe I can throw it up in the chat or on the screen. But this is what the actual rule set is for STIG, right? Now, do you see this is specific to Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9? And I want to just show you one thing quick. If I go back to the upper level of STIG, this is government level security policies for all of these different platforms. There's things in here about how to stig your iOS device, how to stig your Android phone. There's just all kinds of craziness in here. So if you need to know about that stuff, and if you need to know about how to make any of these devices compliant with government standards, this is a good place to sort of start. This is the unclassified version of all of these things. Josh has more information about what classified looks like, and hopefully we can cover that when he gets back on stream. The whole reason to you though is look at all these rules. And each one of these rules has suggestions on how to actually get within compliance. So if I go to one of these, what's this one? RHEL 9 must implement a DOD approved TLS. If I click on it, it's going to bring me to an actual recommendation on how I might apply this. And you can see this is using the update crypto policies. This is the system-wide crypto policy that's included with RHEL. So it's a really handy tool that lets you set the system-wide crypto policy. Easy to implement, and it's great that they give you this suggestion here, right? It's great they tell you how to implement it, but I can't just click a button and this happens, right? That's where OpenSCAP comes in. With OpenSCAP, it takes recommendations and puts them into automation playbooks so that uh, we can actually you know, automate the, the deployment of that. So highly recommend, go check that out. It looks like we have Josh back, so we can get to a discussion here about Compliance in general, right? So we have a bunch to talk about. Absolutely, right? I think you went through and covered the Stig viewer. Uh, there's also the uh, public.cyber.mil site. If you are working with the DOD, I'll copy and paste this, put this into a tab, make sure it's the right size. I have it open in a tab if we wanted to Sweet. share it. Give me just a sec. Yep. So yeah, here we are. I mentioned while you were gone about the unclassified label that was on the Stig viewer that I was just on. And I mentioned you had more to talk about where it comes to Absolutely. classified. If you're working with the government and you have a CAC card, the common criteria access card that you would go through and plug in because you're working with the government, there's a banner in the top left that says login with CAC. And that's where you go through and you can get like the classified, unclassified. You can go through and get the up-to-date version stigs. Um, otherwise, if you're just a civilian or you're a contractor that you don't have a CAC card, you can go to this site and also see the different rule sets, the different release versions. This is typically where it's going through and being publicly posted on the Department of Defense side. So, so it, this is the other place to go through and check it out. The other thing that I wanted to go through and mention is that this is not the only place you can get a STIG. Red Hat works really closely with DISA to make sure things are up to date and that if there are any issues that we're trying to get those pushed back upstream. So we'll also drop a couple of links in chat to something called the Compliances Code, which is a GitHub that we've gotten through and been working very closely with DISA and Red Hatters to make sure things are up to date. So if you have an issue, that's one of the places that if you want to get turned around quickly, I would suggest pulling a issue there on the GitHub side. I think that's all we needed to go through and cover, at least on the public cyber.mil side. All right, so yeah, and you and I talked earlier, right? So even if you were to get this with that CAT card, you still don't get automated remediation. You get an Excel spreadsheet or an XML file that says these are the things you gotta get done, right? <laughs> Absolutely, right. And, and because it's not only hardening, but the policies go along with that, like, are you going through and making sure your facility is secure? Do you have man traps, login access? Like it, it gets layered, different layers of security. There are a man whole traps. bunch of different stigs as well. Yeah. Can, can we get man traps implemented with uh, OpenSCAP? Compliance <laughs> away, man. Not quite yet <laughs> at this point. Uh, so I know that we've gone through and thrown out a couple of acronyms. So if we roll things back just a little bit, the definition of DISA, which is the Defense Information System Agency, it's integral in maintaining the technological backbone of the U.S. military and ensuring effective communication and information across the defensive operations. So this has to do with InfoSec. This has to do with compliance, hardening, a whole bunch of different, they're the rules guys, right? When it comes to the definition of a STIG or S-T-I-G, that stands for the Security Technical Implementation Guide. So that's how to serve the critical resource of organizations looking to implement robust security measures and ensure the integrity and confidentiality of their information systems. With definitions out of the way, 
why are we talking about hardening? Last time we went through, we talked about which uh, frameworks. We talked about CIS last time, which is really, it's like a great, I don't want to say entry level, but like an uh, or every administrator rule set to start with. So even if you're just running, I don't know, your own pretty good website or even a business's website or I don't know, whatever, right? If you're running a server, CIS might be a great place to start if you just want to do a little better in, in a security world. Absolutely, right? 